Welcome back to my channel. This time we decided to explore the southern part of Sydney without visiting these places your travel is incomplete in Sydney. Let's start our journey from Helensburg. Helensburg is a place of natural beauty. This is a famous Hindu temple called Sri Bhinkateshwara Temple. You will find a peaceful and spiritual environment. Now, heading towards our second destination, Stanwell Tops. It is 3 minutes drive from Bhinkateshwara Temple. View of the ocean from the top of the hill is breathtaking. On the side of the ocean, there is New Zealand. This place is popular for parasailing and paragliding. Now, we are heading towards Sea Cliff Breeze. This is 7 minutes drive from Stanwell Tops. This breeze completes the coastal road to Olonga. This breeze is not only a basic infrastructure for Australia, but it has also become an icon to the world. It is another destination to welcome tourists for Australia. You can have a memorable bridge walk above the sea. Our fourth destination for the day is Nantin Temple, which is 30 minutes drive from Sea Cliff Breeze. It is a Buddhist temple. You can see the reflection of Buddhist art and culture. Do not miss the beautiful top hill view of this place. On the top, there is a gratitude veil as well. Taking rest about an hour and with full tummy, we resume the trip towards Kaima Blowhole, which is 30 minutes drive from Nantin Temple. Watching blowing water from the hole of the rock gives you an awesome experience. A stunning view of the ocean from the top of the rock. What a beautiful day. Finally, our last destination of the day is Kaima Height. This is 20 minutes from here. Sir Charles Kingsford Smith Memorial Lookout. It is very peaceful and small park where you can enjoy the view of Seven Mile Beach. Amazing place to visit. We are done for the day and now we are returning back to Kaima Blowhole. We wanted to see Kaima Blowhole once again and enjoy the view of this place with the beautiful sunset. On the other side, there is a lighthouse and a blowhole. This is really good tourist destination. You can enjoy a view of the beach at evening and stay there in a hotel. If you enjoy fishing, do not miss it. If you want to return back to Sydney on the same day, be ready to drive two and a half hours. Or you can stay here and the next day you can return to Sydney taking the tourist drive 9 route. That drive will make your next day more beautiful. By the way, I am Kibal. If you are watching this video, you might want to pop in any comments and feedback you have. Please do comment, share and subscribe. See you until next video. Thank you.